There are several changes to the school lunch program, and in general, all schools execute the rules the same way. Before it was really different. You didn't really have to watch um, like how many things you served, but we analyzed everything for certain uh, things that we had to watch for, like the fat content and how much you know calcium and protein and all those types of things. So as long as you met those requirements over the week, you were fine. The new rules require that schools double the amount of fruits and vegetables schools serve children weekly, and all grains served must be whole grain. You offer the five components, which should be, you know, a grain product, a meat product, vegetable, and fruit, and milk. Okay, then the requirements for offer versus serve is they have to take at least a half a cup of a fruit or a vegetable. It's okay if they get more, as long as they have at least a half a cup. We really encourage them, you know, like to take the entree, which might be, the combination would be the meat and the bread, and then we encourage them to take some fruit or vegetable and the milk. Lunch programs have created a new type of salad bar, and for one school, the place where the salad bar once stood is now used for storage. We used to offer a salad bar for all of our students, K through 12, um, but with the current regulations, we have to make sure that they're getting um, a precise amount serving size of each of the, the components, and then we also have to make sure that they're getting a fruit, a vegetable component. The government is also looking at SAC lunch guidelines. Yes, the government may have a say in what your kids bring to school to eat. One of the things that they were wanting to do was to make sure whatever was in those SAC lunches met these qualifications, these requirements as well, but um, that's not a requirement as of yet. Brashear Superintendent Shelley Shipman says overall these are good changes. We have to let the kids know and give them some healthy choices to choose from and know uh, and, and help them make a better choice on what they're going to eat um, as opposed to a lot of um, sweets and desserts and candy bars and things like that. We want to we want to give them healthy choices so I think it's a positive change. Shipman says there's nothing really parents can do. These are the new rules and for now if you don't like them have your child bring a sack lunch. Reporting from local school lunch rooms I'm Onisha Bruner.